today I want to talk to you a little bit about the possible freeze damage that we're seeing throughout the state because of the cold temperatures we had in early February. As many of you know, in the northern part of the state, we, we dropped down pretty cold. Uh, we had minus 20 degrees here in Stillwater, and I think many people know that, that Nawada had minus 32, and that's well below our average. So we're going to see some landscape damage. Uh, there are a lot of plants that should do just fine, but we have some plants that we've kind of pushed further north in terms of their cold hardiness, and we'll probably see some severe damage on those and maybe complete loss of some of those plants. But this is what we're typically seeing and throughout, the, throughout the state um, is the foliar leaf drop, especially of broadleaf evergreens. That's, of course, most noticeable because their leaves are typically on them all winter long. And this is a nandina, or heavenly bamboo, and you can see a lot of the foliage has burned off. But what we're really interested in is looking at the stems. And what you can do is take your thumbnail and just kind of scratch it and pull it back a little bit and look for that bright green soft tissue. That means this stem is still alive, and that's a good thing. Hopefully the buds are also, that are along the stem, are also good and healthy, and those will be able to uh, hopefully shoot out uh, in a, another week or so and, and start growing. Now if you also look down near the base of the plant, a lot of the, there is a lot of new shoot growth coming out here. This nice little bright red growth is, is all new growth that will come out from the base of the plant. So even if some of the top of the plant has been damaged, uh, we're going to have new growth down here. And it may be that we have to cut this back anyway just for appearances. Uh, this may look, even though it leafs out some, it may be really scraggly looking. You'll have a lot of basal growth and a lot of straggly growth on top. So we may just clip it back anyway. Uh, this is very typical of what we have seen again uh, with the, uh, a lot of plants. And you can see where, where we had snow cover, that was a good thing actually for to help insulate and protect the base of many plants. So you can see where the snow line was pretty much, where these, this, this, these branches here were below the snow, were protected. These branches were above the snow, and of course they've all died back, and they're all pretty brittle. So we'll come in here again, we'll trim this all nicely back, and uh, back to the live wood and let it fill back in with the new shoots. Another very popular plant throughout the state that I know we're going to get lots of questions, we're already, get, already getting questions about, is the crepe myrtle. Now this plant, typically we don't really recommend doing a lot of pruning to it, and it's also one that's late to bloom out or, or to, to produce shoots in the, in the latter part of the spring, early summer. So it's a little bit slower than a lot of our other landscape plants. So pe some people are going to be a little concerned about it. Um, but again, we need to check the branches. We can try scoring them again or, or uh, with our fingernail or with a, a small knife or something and look for, again, green tissue. Now this one's you know, it's, there's a little green underneath it, but it's feeling pretty dry. So I'm thinking that, that we're, I, and I've been watching these over the last several weeks, been coming out and scratching them a little bit here and there, looking for that green tissue. And initially it seemed a little green, but I think it, some of these are gonna die back some more to the ground. Um, we're, again, we're kind of on the northern edge, uh, you know, the northern part of Oklahoma is on the northern edge of their cold hardiness. And, but now this is one that can die to the ground uh, and will come back again, usually from the roots, from the, sh from the crown of the plant. But hopefully um, we won't lose all of it. Now, one thing that you'll want to look for, um, especially as you start, as the, as the plant starts to leaf out, if the leaves start shriveling up and the plant starts to decline, even after it leafed out this spring, later this summer we're going to see some, you know, if they have internal damage like we have right here, you can see there's splits along the trunk of the of the of the uh, the crepe myrtle here and that's very possible uh, that that's freeze damage and so we might see that on some plants and and this may leaf out uh, this spring but then this summer when it gets really hot and it's stressed for water um, it may all of a sudden shrivel up and start dying again so we're gonna have to watch them very carefully um, the one key though to all of this uh, winter damage is not to get too carried away with getting out there and pruning everything really hard right now. Be patient, give it some time, uh, let it leaf out, and then cut, go ahead and cut back to live wood.